How am I doing here? Why now? Why all this chaos now? It doesn't seem like all this stuff started like five minutes ago. Just boom, everyone's on the move. Iran, about that far away from a nuclear weapon. Putin, pff, massive invasion of another country. China, they're buzzing Taiwan every other minute with fighter jets. Why now? Well, I mean, we know why now. Look at America. When America is weak, the wolves are going to go do their thing. And when we have a senile old man at the top, they're, they're, they're not going to wait for that, change, for that to change. They're not going to wait for a new guy to come in. The wolves are looking at America and they say to themselves, now's the time. It's not a small thing. It's a big deal when the President of the United States of America can't speak. It's a big deal that he sounds so, so tired all the time. It's a big deal. It's a big deal that he walks around with that stupid stiff arm gait and we all understand what's going on there. It's a big deal he looks lost as a puppy at all times. It's a big deal he gets up at events with a couple black dudes there and says, ha, man, I can tell you guys must hoop. The three congressmen you have here, Two of them look like they could, they really could and did play ball, and the other one looks like he could bomb you. Of course. Every black guy plays basketball, haven't you heard? You think they don't watch that in other countries and say to themselves, oh my gosh, this freaking idiot. Of course. They're licking their chops right now. Of course they're on the move. And before I get to the next thing, I just want to say, we're probably going to have a few years of this. Joe Biden ain't going anywhere. We're going to have a few years of having to suffer through this with the world on the move. When you have a president, you have a commander in chief like this, they're on the move. Look, when he got done with that event, he was lost. Again, he does this all the time. If there's not somebody there to grab him by the arm and lead him, he looks like someone wandering out of a nursing home. Thank you for all you do. I know, it's just a little video. Man, you gotta know where he is. I didn't have any idea where he is. Look, the people see it now. Only 24% strongly agree he's fit for office when they're talking about his mental fitness. 34% strongly disagree. We can all see it. And I, I wanna stress this again because we forget about this as Americans. I forget about it too. We don't watch other politicians. We're America. You can call it arrogant, call it whatever you want. You don't know what the leader of Germany sounds like. You probably couldn't pick out Xi Jinping's voice out of, of, out of two people. Everyone knows what American politicians sound like, especially our president. When our presidents speak, they all watch, especially world leaders. They sit around and they watch these events. These advisors watch these events. Do you think they're going to waste an opportunity like this? I mean, you understand this huge Russian invasion of Ukraine it could easily lead to World War III. We've not only been behind the entire time, we actually sent Dome to Europe to handle the negotiations. Kamala Harris is a lot of things, but she most definitely is an idiot and not somebody at all equipped to handle negotiations on this level of importance. I wouldn't trust her to negotiate a lemonade from a kid's lemonade stand. We're sending her to NATO? Why? Well, let's be honest. She's the most qualified one of the two of them. You know that? That's where we are. And look, this is the person. Look, this is the person we just sent to NATO to negotiate. Imagine a future. The freight trucks that deliver bread and milk to our grocery store shelves and the buses that take children to school and, and parents to work. Imagine all the heavy duty vehicles that keep our supply lines strong and allow our economy to grow. 
imagine that they produced zero emissions. Well, you all imagined it. That's why we're here today. Because we have the ability to see what can be, unburdened by what has been, and then to make the possible actually happen. We're in so much trouble. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.